the waters of the Nile, a source of sustenance, but also a source of bitter dispute. Ethiopia began diverting a stretch of the world's longest river earlier this week to make way for a hydroelectric dam. But Addis Ababa's plans are sparking anger and concern in neighbouring countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan, that rely on the river for water. In Cairo, some residents are up in arms about the possibility that Ethiopia's three and a half billion euro Renaissance dam could reduce their supply. If the Renaissance Dam has an effect on the amount of water we receive from our share of the Nile, then we would consider this to be a red line. It's possible our state would fight, and we're ready to fight for water. In the countryside outside the capital, there's concern that agriculture could suffer and livelihoods might be put in jeopardy, as one farmer explains to Euronews. When they change the course of the Nile, how will we water our plants? How will crops grow? Mohammed Sheikh Ibrahim reports. The restless conflict between the ten countries in the Nile Basin has ignited once again. There are many possibilities as to what happens now, and every state may resort to protecting its national interests, particularly Egypt, which considers the Nile to be a vital artery and also a source of strength and weakness at the same time.